Hi guys, in this video, we are going to see one very important interview questions. Everywhere, every company, in every interview, you will face this question. Okay, what are the challenges you faced while API automation or API testing? Okay, so it depends on project to project. Okay, it varies from project to project. So what I have done, I have tried to make it generalized so that you can relate it to your current project okay and if you have not uh, worked on api automation also and if you are going for api interview questions then still you can frame some uh, you can relate these answers to some uh, project and you can answer it okay so let's get started first uh, first the major challenge is changing the request and response structure okay the first thing you should tell like like see whenever we are hitting any api okay suppose post request we used to send some payload if developers okay if developer will change the structure okay in that case what happens you will end up with doing huge changes okay and that is very tedious and it uh, it requires too much time also for example i'll tell you suppose this is what one json object we have okay consider for example so what this this json object is here we have one user okay this is this talks about user profile okay so what is the user id okay and uh, some guid they have given this means somewhere application will be using this that's what uh, they have given these things okay and is is that user is active okay what is the balance amount of that user what is the profile picture of that user age i name gender company which company that user works what is its email id what is phone number address about that user and then after some tags what is the area longitude latitude of that user and who all are friends of that user user what greetings he has mentioned and what is his favorite fruit etc okay so just this is like user information so so suppose you have created one method to generate this page load how as similar way how we have done while when we were automating our uh, uh, create user right you remember when uh, in some video i have explained about this one okay to create add uh, to add address details no, not address details this get user payload so this is what this way we were creating uh, uh, users payload right so see here this is what method we have written to create user details so here i have taken one simple example in this sim simple example just we have this much uh, data okay but in real time sometimes what happens no you'll you'll be having around uh, how many uh, more than 100 100 uh, key value pairs okay some complex complex project you will be having more than 100 100 even 150 also the current project what i am working there it is like huge nested nested data is there okay so in this case suppose if developer will change the structure okay now instead of this what they will do do see this is also name of the user right name of its friend so what suppose they have some plan to integrate this user information here itself okay so what will happen this structure will get changed so you will end up with doing so many changes in your automation scripts okay this is one of the biggest challenge okay and based on this whatever assertions you are doing in your project right for example here we are doing suppose here here we are doing uh, assertion for one two three four five six or five right two three four five 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 variables we are asserting right but in real time example you will end up with a doing assertion of 60 70. so in that case what will happen to get uh like expected name see here it was like normal right expected name expected status see here address details dot office address so it was like nested nested so dot dot notation we were going right suppose if your response is like this and they have changed this dot this dot this dot to get some information okay in that case how many places you'll end up with changing right so that is like very tedious very tedious work okay so that is what one challenge you can tell the second challenge is 
sometimes what happens no so this is uh, this is actually not challenge developers should inform but sometimes they doesn't inform they used to do some changes they'll change the status code or some changes they'll do and they will forget to inform the qas okay in that case what will happen is suddenly your all tests starts failing so then you will debug then you'll find that like what changes exactly they have done then then you'll identify that is also someone challenge only you know if they are doing some changes they should inform us in prior but they doesn't do sometimes okay so that is also one type of challenge the other challenge is like running parallel tests okay suppose if you have currently in my project i have 1200 uh, test cases okay at the rate test at the rate test is there no 1200 test cases we have so whenever we run 1200 test cases okay it runs parallelly suppose suppose there is some concept of flag okay based on some flags the behavior will be different based on some flag condition some behavior will get changed okay suppose if your all test cases are running parallelly in that case suppose there is one flag in that flag if it is on so behavior will be different if that flag is off then behavior will be different suppose parallelly both the test cases you have written and parallelly both are executing at the same time then there will be conflict then either of the two cases will fail two test cases will fail or might be both the test cases will fail so so likewise here i told two but in real time it will be like more than 100 test cases conflicted test cases will be there so those those kind of challenge still that is not Uh, application defect okay that is because you are running it parallelly all the test cases okay so in that case those kind of failures will come okay then you need to debug why it is happening happening then you will analyze like oh because of this flag it got failed so that takes also too much time okay so in parallel run also you will be facing that so for that in my company what we have done okay we have segregated okay which and all test cases are there which can rise uh, some conflict will happen based on the uh, some flags okay so we have segregated all those in separate test suite and we are running it separately so like that is one approach and you can go for some other best approach also so this is what approach we are following that's what i have explained okay now so huge number of parameters to verify oh i told already i covered in first point like uh, so many parameters will be there to verify then every place you will be changing these details right so that is one challenge and see these dot 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 things are there no dot address detail dot office address then dot card id suppose if we have some more nested json then dot 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 we will be going so there is one best work uh there is one concept of routing and derouting okay so that also in interview they'll ask you i haven't created video for that i'll be creating soon soon so with routing no you can avoid this writing it multiple times so at one place you will be writing that route and you can use it directly wherever you want so in case of structure change suppose if the if structure also got changed that only one place you need to update that structure okay and it will start working so that is also in that way with the help of root concept you can handle that okay so this is what also you can tell it as a challenge and one this challenge this is like extreme headache what happens now see you are automation api automation tester okay when your apis ui team will integrate this with ui okay at that time so many challenges comes what will happen okay suppose you have added some user you are updating some user so for adding updating you need some data okay some payloads you need so in that payload no in ui sometimes they will uh, forget to add something Some, sometimes they'll uh, forget to uh what we can say like suppose some place true is required but at back end they are sending it false in ui people are entering true only in back end they will send it as false okay so many mistakes they used to do in ui so in that case what happens now it is their duty to check why why these things is happening okay so but they what they will tell no they they'll always post like this is api defect this is api defect then it will come to you 
you will be having some your own work also apart from that you need to look why this is failing then you will analyze that sometimes that will be api defect only but majority of the time it happens like those are actually ui de uh, defects and instead of analyzing by them those are coming like this is our defect and our api defect and we used to analyze and we used to tell see here this is what mistake you are doing because of that this problem is coming then later they'll tell oh okay okay sorry then they'll fix it from there and so this is like uh, one of the challenge you can tell but uh, yeah so this is what some challenges i have faced uh, men said if you still want to know, know like uh, if you still have some challenges in your mind and you are not able to frame like how i can present then put those uh, come uh, those in comments i'll try to explain it with some examples okay so that's it for this video guys thank you bye bye